Keep in mind that we can make some very small rotational molded parts and some very large rotational molded parts. I don't know of many applications that can bear the cost of a 18 foot long, three foot diameter blow molded part. So in some cases, rotational molding may be the best option for perpetuity. Rotational molding is better suited than blow molding in many different applications where the design may not be quite settled. Good. So welcome to our manufacturing group for rotational molding. Rotational molding fulfills a number of different criteria that helps customers solve problems. In an application where you have a hollow part, it could be a vessel, it could be a canoe, a pontoon, possibly some type of berm. It could be a long flat part that's hollow, or it could be the bow of a vessel. Any number of applications that could otherwise be blow molded will be ideally suited to rotational molding when the tooling costs are excessive. Rotational molding came about by having a, a thin walled mold that is lower cost than your typical heavy duty blow mold, laying the plastic into the mold and then rotating the mold in three different dimensions under high heat. Plastic is put into the mold when the mold is cold and the plastic is cold. The mold is then rotated in three different dimensions so that the plastic is evenly distributed. And then as the mold is slowly heated, the plastic melts to that outer wall. After the plastic is melted, we then begin a slow process of cooling the mold. And what results in the end is a part that is fully formed, absolutely contained within the mold, with typically consistent wall thicknesses that is hollow. So when the process is done and the mold is cold, we open the mold and pull the part out. You know what your part needs to do. We're concerned about how to cost effectively make that part. And more importantly, a lot of projects do not happen because the tooling is too expensive. So how can we fit the tooling to meet your requirements to make the part you want without spending exorbitant amounts of money? We can aid in uh, developing your product from napkin sketch all the way through to final assembly and packaging. I love what I do. Uh, I have a lot of freedom. I'm always pushing the limits of the machines, the tools. What can we do? Can we do it faster? Can we do it cheaper? Can we do it, you know, better? Now the process can make everything from little tight scooters for children, playground slides, uh, vessels for containing toxic chemicals. Of course, everybody's familiar with the canoes and kayaks you see at your local sports store to little tiny vessels on uh, 18 wheelers. In this case, possibly a berm. Rotational molding can be used for small parts as well. Recently we had a customer that needed a very unique end cap in a lower quantity. Their quantities couldn't justify a large volume blow mold, but a rotational mold that was uh, small and scaled to their application was ideally suited. And so we designed a low cost rotational mold and were able to make them parts in a very short period of time. If your part fits within a volume that is 18 feet long or four feet wide, this machine can make that part. But in smaller rotational molding machines, we have molds that may be as big as only 12 inches. In general, rotational molded material is polyethylene. And the reason is polyethylene can withstand the long residence time required for rotational molding. In other words, the plastic starts out in a cooled state and then is slowly heated, melted, and then is slowly cooled. So if you have a plastic that, such as PVC that can burn easily, it would not be ideally suited to rotational molding. In rotational molded parts, a lot of times you'll add uh, features into the part in order to make it structurally sound. Every time there is a ridge and every time there is a through hole, it adds structure to that specific area. So if you have an area of the part that is non-critical or non-vital, we will be tempted to add in some type of feature in order to make the part more rigid. So you look at a canoe or a kayak and you see the veins and the, and the lines running down the canoe or kayak and you're thinking, well, that's a good looking canoe or kayak. Very likely it's adding structure. And by adding structure, you add rigidity. See, the trick is we need to use geometry in our favor to benefit the customer. Low usage of material, minimize wall thickness, maximize strength, maximize rigidity. In the end, we enjoy making parts. Let's face it, to make a good looking yellow part with all sorts of cool features in it makes us happy and it fulfills an application. What makes us good is we think on our feet. Um, 
We try to minimize things that may happen by looking ahead. Give us a chance to talk with you and lay out the options for your product line and give it the greatest possibility of success.